Governor J.B. Pritzker offering a break on gas, grocery, and property taxes. Yeah, during his annual budget address this afternoon, the governor said he knows many families have reached a breaking point. WGN political reporter Taman Bradley is here with details and some reaction from Republicans. Ray and Micah, the snowstorm changed the look of the speech. It was moved from the Illinois House chamber over to the old state capitol with fewer people on hand. A budget made for the campaign trail. Arguing Illinois is in better fiscal shape than when he took office, Governor Pritzker is proposing a $45.4 billion spending plan and $1 billion in tax relief. The pandemic recession has taken an enormous financial toll on workers and businesses. Government must continue to do everything possible to help people recover. Highlights of the spending includes millions to expand the state's health care workforce, more money for early childhood and K-12 education, more investment in colleges and universities, and additional funding for DCFS. With violence rising in Illinois, the governor's budget includes a boost in funding for law enforcement training and a gang crime witness protection program. If we want to reduce crime, we have to solve crimes. Pritzker is also calling on the legislature to provide one-time tax relief, including a grocery tax freeze, property tax rebate, and a pause on the cost of living increase of the state's gas tax. To convince voters he's been a good steward of the economy, Pritzker compared state finances now to 2019. Then the state faced bond ratings downgrades, expensive interest costs, and an empty rainy day fund. Today, the governor projects a $1.7 billion budget surplus, $4 billion in debt retired by the end of the next fiscal year, and the flexibility to make an extra pension payment. I propose making not only our minimum pension payment this year, but also an additional half a billion dollars. Republicans slam the proposals. What we need is substantial long-term tax relief that makes it affordable for people to live here. Here you have a governor who is, on one hand, wants to increase government spending by two and a half billion dollars while only providing the citizens of Illinois temporary tax relief. He's offering an empty box of chocolates right before Valentine's Day, and he's calling it tax relief. Some of the governor's tax relief ideas might not fly with traditionally Democratic-aligned interests. Chicago laborers and state operating engineers are concerned about the gas tax holiday. But remember, these are just the governor's ideas. Now it's time, Micah and Ray, for the legislature to weigh in. Well, there it is. All right, Tamon, thanks so much.